Seniors Owen O'Leary and Clara Batchelder are research assistants at Dartmouth, helping put together some of the 1,200 kits meant to engage rural low-income students in STEM. Some of the data that shows that kids growing up in rural poverty um, have some of the lowest science achievement of any demographic group. Um, they're less familiar, they're less likely to think that STEM and science is relevant to their life. Professor Michelle Tyne says the Build-A-Box project was based on research that shows the demand for workers in STEM-related fields is increasing in the Green Mountain and Granite States. There is this need uh, to kind of educate the pipeline so kids in kind of K through 12 uh, in science right now and get them excited and jazzed about science. She received $50,000 in grants and worked with the Monshire Museum to come up with 12 different science, technology, engineering and math activities for middle school students. The idea is if they can't have out of school science uh, in their community, we will bring the science to them. Six schools between Vermont and New Hampshire taking part in the project. I care a lot about um, rural interventions in the world of rural education. So it's really cool to be working on a project that, yeah, yeah. so directly impacts that. With about 300 seventh and eighth graders taking the kits home. It feels really good knowing that this could be helping. And it's sort of interesting because obviously we're just doing sort of like the labor of putting together boxes and filling them with things so you don't think that much about how that would affect someone's life but obviously the point is that it will. Tyne saying it's a win-win. Students that need um, access to materials are getting the materials and we as researchers also get to realize is this uh, an effective, low-cost way that we can intervene. The project will wrap up next fall. In Hanover, Matt Layton, NBC5 News. Head to the Math Plus Science Equals